Today we're going to learn about how to create donor retention reports in a few simple steps. Donor retention and donor churn rates are two essential metrics for a nonprofit to measure their fundraising success. What is donor retention and donor churn? So donor retention is simply donors who gave this year and last year divided by all the donors who gave last year. For example, let's say that 61 donors have given both this year and last year, while 80 donors gave last year. So you take 61 divided by 80 and your donor retention rate is 76%. Donor churn is donors who gave last year, but not this year, divided by all the donors who gave last year. It is just the opposite of donor retention. So from our example above, we have 19 donors who gave last year, but have not yet given this year, and 80 donors who gave last year. So we just take 19 divided by 80, and we have a 24% donor churn rate. So in order to create your reports, you'll go into your Salesforce org, and you will go to setup. Object manager. And account. We need to create a field on the account object in order for us to get the reports that we need for donor retention. But this is very simple. So we'll just click on Fields and Relationships and New. From here, we'll select Formula field and Next. We need to label this field, and the label of this field is going to be Gave this year and last year. So what we're looking for is all the people who have given this year and last year. This is just going to be a number field. If they gave this year and last year, we're going to return one. And this will help us to count these people in our report. Make the decimal places zero. We're just going to do a simple if formula. And we're going to find first our field number of gifts this year. So we're just going to go over to this insert merge field and look for number of gifts this year. And we just want to make sure this is greater than zero. And we're going to do number of gifts last year is greater than zero, greater than zero. So same thing, we just went there, looked for number of gifts last year and inserted that field. And then what we want is if both of these things are true, if they gave last year and they gave this year, we want it to return a one. Otherwise, it'll just return zero. So now that we have our formula, we're just going to check the syntax, make sure we didn't make a mistake. Yep, it's all good. Click Next. Make sure that all the people, the profiles who need to see this field in the report are able to see it. Click Next. We don't want this to go on any of our page layouts, so we can just remove it. It'll just be used in our reports. And click Save. So next, we want to go and create our report. So we're going to go to the Reports tab. Click New Report. And we want the Contacts and Accounts report. Uh, 
a couple of things we need to do is update our filters. So we'll click on this filters right here and we're gonna say, show me all accounts. Click apply. And we're gonna update this to all time. Click apply. We need to add a new filter so that we bring in everybody who had a gift last year into our report. So we're gonna look for that field here. And we're just gonna type in total gifts last year. And this report is on the account object. We're looking at all of our households and organizations and determining donor retention for them. So we don't want this contact one, we want this account one, total gifts last year. And we're just going to make sure that it is greater than zero. And click apply. Next, we'll save our report. And we'll just call it account donor retention. You can choose any folder that works and that everyone that you want to see this report has visibility to. For now, I'm just gonna put it in the public folder so that everybody can see it. Okay, so we have a bunch of fields here that we don't need. So we're gonna eliminate those. Right now, I just wanna keep account name. I can get rid of, you can get rid of everything else. And then we wanna add total gifts this year. and make sure you grab the account field. It's very important. And total gifts last year. And again, grab the account one. And we want to add our new field, gave this year and last year. And grab the account one. and hit save. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to add some summary formula columns. And you can do that here, except right now it's grayed out. You have to have your report sorted by something in order to have that available. So all we're going to do is slide this field up to group rows. And sometimes the slide feature in Salesforce doesn't work as it should, but there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna be able to select Add Summary Formula. And the first one we're gonna add is Donor Retention Rate. It is gonna be a percent with zero decimal points. Now we just need to pull in our new field, everyone who gave this year and last year. Okay, so here it comes up and we wanna add this one on the account. Make sure it says sum here and insert. And then we're going to divide this by all of the rows in our report. So we just want to go back here, clear this out. And at the top, it says count and record count. Hit apply. And now you have your donor retention rate on your report. And the next thing we want to add is the donor churn rate. So we're going to do the same thing. Add summary formula. We're going to call it donor and rate. 
we're going to do percent, zero decimal points. And this formula is a little bit different. We're going to start with the row count. And then we're going to subtract everyone who gave this year and last year. So we are going to search here for that new field. And again, grab the account field, make sure. And make sure it says sum. And then I'm just going to put some parentheses around this entire thing because I'm going to divide it. Whoops. Okay, and then we're going to divide it by the row count. So we need to clear this out and get the row count and hit apply. So now we have our donor churn rate. So we'll hit save and run. And here is our report with donor retention rate and donor churn rate. And the last thing we want to do is display this on our homepage. So we're going to go to the dashboard that displays on our homepage, which is right here. We're just going to hit edit. We're going to add a new component to our dashboard. We're going to go to the report we just created, select it. And all you're going to do is click here on this one, two, three, which is a metric chart. And then you're going to find your donor retention rate. And click add. We're going to add one more component for our donor churn. So we're going to select our report. Go here again to the one, two, three metric chart. Find donor churn rate. We need to relabel this. Click add. And then let's move these up to the top so we can see them and resize them. Click Save, Done, and we now have these on a dashboard. And since this is our homepage dashboard, the landing page for everyone who's entering Salesforce, you will see them right here. And voila, we have donor retention and donor churn readily visible for everyone in your organization.